Welcome back to Pray TV. Thank you for being here with us. And if you are with us and want to help extend the reach of this particular program, we invite you to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and share this video with friends who you think may be able to pray along with us. Now, we're going to look today at a verse of scripture that we're going to take from Proverbs 19 and verse 11. And I'm going to read it in two different versions today. I'm going to read it first of all in the Amplified Version of the Bible, and then we're going to come back and we're going to read Lori Bellio's interpretation of it, which I, I found so intriguing that uh, usually I just stick with the articulated Word of God through, you know, NIV or King James Version or New King James or New Living Translation or whatever. But it was so special, I just felt like we really needed to hear it. But we're going to read first of all from the Amplified Version, and it says, Good sense and discretion make a man slow to anger, and it is his honor and glory to overlook a transgression or an offense without seeking revenge and harboring resentment. Now, I just feel like that's so important for us to be able to look at and, and really examine in our hearts that we need to kind of ask, what about this verse is so important and so significant? Because we know that we are all tempted at some level, some way, some shape or form, to be able to be in misunderstanding or something that causes an angry reaction in our soul and our hearts become disquieted and, and we might become very critical. Basically, oftentimes it's because we don't really understand the other person's point of view. And yet, it's one of the things that has hampered so much of our Christian faith, so much of the things that we try to do. In fact, a good friend of mine, Pastor uh, Mark Fee, he had written a whole uh, extensive course of study called Getting Along in the church or getting along in the body of Christ, getting along with others. And so it's very important that we understand some of these principles, we apply them in our hearts and in our lives so that we are be able to be free from offense. In fact, one of the verses of scripture, and it's a little bit of an aside, I've, I've referred to it before, but it's, it's possibly uh, my favorite verse of scripture from Psalm 119, verse 165, and this is from the King James Version of the Bible where it says, Great peace of they that love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. And the reason that's so important to me is because it's so easy for us to be able to find ourselves in offense or finding offense or being in, in kind of a, a, a way that just sort of grates in our spirit. And it's usually because there's a misunderstanding. It's usually because there's a different sense of calling and not the full regard and respect for each other and the way that God has positioned us, called us, and is wanting us to be able to walk fully in. So give that some consideration, and I am going to read this portion of Scripture again in this Lori Bellio version. And it says, again, it's Proverbs 19 and 11, and it says, A smart, wise person has tact and insight. He is slow to anger, and he knows how to control his temper. He earns respect by ignoring and overlooking the hurtful offenses by others and by forgiving and forgetting. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just are grateful that you want for us to be able to live in that state of forgiveness, that state of release. Lord, our hearts are reminded again of how you modeled it, Jesus, in such an awesome way, in the fact that you were being sinned against on the cross of Calvary. And in the moment of being sinned against, you were issuing forgive, forgiveness. You said to those who were mocking you, you said to those who were driving a, a spear into your side, 
Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And Lord, I just pray that you would help us to be able to live in that same posture that Jesus, you showed us how to be able to take hold of because it's, it's difficult for us to get there. Sometimes it takes us years to be able to enter into the forgiveness that you intend for us to walk in. And Lord, you're wanting us to be able to follow your model. You're wanting us to be able to follow your pattern of forgiving. And so Holy Spirit, we just pray that right today, you'll cause our souls and our hearts to be able to so resonate with you that at the very moment when somebody is offending us, we are right there with you, Jesus, and we are issuing that forgiveness, that posture of not taking offense, of not letting something seed into our hearts or into our spirits. And so, Lord, we pray for your people, we pray for your body, because it's all about you functioning, Lord, freely in and through our lives. And Father, we pray that you will cause our souls to be able to experience your liberty. And your liberty is there for us as we walk in forgiveness, as we live liberally in that sense of issuing to others the understandings so that there is not a way that the enemy can come in and can defeat us. Lord, if we are unified, if we are one, if we are like you spoke of in John 15 in the vine and John 17, being in this beautiful sense of unity with one another, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish in your body. Help us, Lord, to be able to get there Help us to move past our human frailties. Help us to be able to issue to one another generously the gift of forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. 